Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about inventory errors. As we know, inventory is an asset and its ending balance is reported in the current asset section of the company's financial statement. I mean to say balance sheet. Inventory is not an income statement account. However, the changes in inventory is a component in the calculation of cost of goods sold, which is often presented on the company's income statement okay so here as we know we have two type of inventory you might have an inventory in shape of uh, opening inventory you might have inventory in shape of closing inventory so today we are going to discuss what will go wrong if your opening inventory value is overstated or understated and what will go wrong if your closing inventory value is overstated or understated so let me just give you a simple example because as I told you, this closing inventory is our current asset. If there is a, a mistake in the closing inventory, so of course it will affect your balance sheet, okay, because the current assets are recorded in the balance sheet. Plus it will also affect the uh, income statement because this closing inventory will be the part of cost of goods sold. Plus it will also affect the statement of cash flow, you know, under uh, operating activities, we also record the changes in the inventory, okay and it might also affect certain other parts of the financial statement. So it's really important. So today, the other parts mean to say balance sheet, equity section also, because closing inventory uh, will affect the value of profits, okay, in the income statement and those profits, of course, uh, will be the part of equity, like, you know, will be the part of retained earning. So here we are going to start with the basic calculation because this basic calculation will give you the idea how the things might be affected on the financial statement. So in the income statement, if you want to calculate the cost of goods sold uh, for the retailers, I'm just giving you example. So how can we calculate the cost of goods sold? Usually we take what opening inventory value, okay? Plus we add here cost of production or purchases. Then this is what is called cost of goods available for sale if you will subtract here closing inventory value this is what this is how you will get the cost of goods sold now just we need to think what might go wrong if your opening inventory value is overstated or understated okay and you also need to check what might go wrong if your closing inventory value is overstated or understated so here we have a small a summary. So you should remember, uh, please uh, don't forget this summary is only for the current year. Over the two years, what will happen if there is a, any mistake in the inventory? So that I will cover just after a few minutes. So, so here we have a two types of inventory. Uh, one type of inventory is called opening and second is called what closing inventory. And we are going to talk about uh, what if the inventory values are overstated or understated? So what will be the effect on cost of goods sold? What will be the effect on the profit and income statement? And what will be the effect in retained earning of the current year? I'm talking about current year. So have a look here. If you have an opening inventory, if your opening inventory is overstated, so here you should remember note. So opening inventory, has always direct relation with the cost of goods sold because opening inventory we will add when you calculate the cost of goods sold so that is why if your opening inventory is overstated of course your cost of goods sold will also be overstated if your opening inventory is understated so it means your cost of goods sold will also be understated so overstated mean to say maybe you have written more than actual and understated mean to say maybe you have written less than actual in the cost of goods sold calculation so here we go then uh, you have you should remember closing inventory always have a direct relation with the profit with the profit okay profit if your closing inventory is overstated profit will also be overstated why just let me tell you here, then we will go to the summary. For example, if you will overstate this value of closing inventory, which you are subtracting uh, in the calculation of cost of goods sold, if you will overstate the value of closing inventory, your cost of goods sold will go down, of course, okay? If you will understate the value of closing inventory here, your cost of goods sold will go up, okay? So this is what we are going to talk about. So then uh, the third node is, uh, please focus here. The third node is, the cost of goods sold and profit have inverse relation. Inverse relation means to say 
if your cost of goods sold is more, profit will be less. If your cost of goods sold is less, profit will be more. And then the note number four is what profit and retained earning has a direct relation because the net income from the income statement you will transfer to the retained earning. If your uh, profits, I mean, say net income is overstated, of course, retained earning will also be overstated, but only in the current year I'm talking about here. So let's have a look. So now here, the first case, if you have opening inventory and if your opening inventory is overstated, as I told you, opening inventory always has a direct relation with the cost of goods sold. So your cost of goods sold will also be overstated, okay? If your opening inventory is understated, your cost of goods sold will also be understated. Then I told you closing inventory. Closing inventory, if it is overstated, as I told you, closing inventory always has a direct relation with the profit. So the profit will also be overstated. If your closing inventory is understated, profit will also be understated. And don't forget, as I told you, cost of goods sold and profit have inverse relation. So check it here. If here your cost of goods sold is overstated, of course, profit will be understated. And if your cost of goods sold is understated, your profit will be overstated. So same way uh, here, if your profits are overstated, okay, so what will happen? Your cost of goods sold will be understated. And if your profits are understated, of course, your cost of goods sold will be overstated. Now, as I note for, as I told you, profit and retained earning has a direct relation. For example, if here your profit is understated in this scenario, okay, so your retained earning will also be understated, but only in the current year, okay? If your profits are overstated, so your retained earning will also be overstated. Same here, if your profits are overstated here, so retained earning will also be overstated. And if your profits are understated, retained earning will also be understated. Now we are going to discuss about few more notes. These notes are really important because these are the technical points which you should remember here. So here, if the first note, if a purchase on account, I mean to say when you buy the product on credit is not recorded and the goods are not included in the ending inventory. Like you did not record the purchases value and you also did not record the uh, goods in the ending inventory. So what will happen? The cost of goods sold, uh, which is equal to beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending inventory and net income are unaffected. Why? Because you did not record the purchases and the purchases you are always adding in the cost of goods sold, if you remember, right? And you did not record in the closing inventory also, so that you always subtract. So purchases we added in the cost of goods sold and closing inventory we are subtracting. It means if nothing you have added, nothing you have subtracted, it means your income will be unaffected, okay? But the current assets and the current liabilities are understated. Why? Because the current assets uh, inventory is our current asset. If you did not record the inventory, of course, your current assets will be understated and your current liabilities might also be understated because you have purchased on credit. So maybe you did not record the liability also. So this is really important point. Second note there, we have another note. If purchases and beginning inventory are properly recorded, like you have recorded the purchases and the beginning inventory, but items are excluded from the ending inventory. So you did not maybe counted in the physical count, okay, that ending inventory, or maybe inventory is not recorded. So cost of goods sold will be overstated. Why? Because purchases you have recorded, so it purchases will increase the cost of goods sold, but you did not include in the value of ending inventory. So that is why cost of goods sold will be overstated. Of course, if your cost of goods sold is overstated, your net income, inventory, retained earning, even working capital, which is equal to current assets minus current liabilities and current ratios are understated because you did not include the inventory, okay? So now here we are going to talk about, uh, this, this is really important point, uh, error arising from recording transaction in the wrong period may reverse in the subsequent period. So this is really important point. Let's have a look what will happen if your closing inventory is overstated or understated over the two periods. Now we are going to talk about over the two periods. Now we are going to talk about what if your 
uh, ending inventory is overstated in the first year and how it will affect the two different years. Okay, so let's have a look this effect. So this is your uh, cost of, uh, this is your balance sheet. Okay, and this is your income statement. Here we go. For example, if your ending inventory is overstated, ending inventory we are talking about, if it is overstated, what will happen? Your cost of goods sold will also be will will be understated because your ending inventory is overstated. If your cost of goods sold is understated, what will happen? Your gross profit, I mean, say profit will be overstated. If your gross profit is overstated. Of course, your net income will also be overstated. So just have a look here. This net income, this net income will be transferred to the retained earning. We, you know, when you prepare the statement of retained earnings, there we need to write their opening retained earning. Okay. Then you added their plus net income less and uh, is equal to let's assume uh, retained earnings at the end of the period. If your net income is overstated, so what will happen? So your retained earning will also be overstated, okay? So now you need to know uh, this closing inventory will also be recorded as uh, current assets, okay? Under current assets section, so your current asset will also be overstated. Now let's have a look what will happen in year two. Don't forget here, this closing inventory will be the beginning inventory in next period, okay? And this error will reverse and your retained earning over the two periods will be unaffected. How? Let's have a, let's move to the year two. So here you have a year two. As I told you, as I told you, if your closing inventory was overstated in the last period, so what will happen? The closing inventory will become the beginning inventory of the next period. So your beginning inventory will be overstated. If your beginning inventory is overstated, so of course your cost of goods available for sale will also be overstated and your cost of goods sold will also be overstated. If your cost of goods sold is overstated, of course your profit and net income will be understated, okay? Now you should remember here, please focus, this is really important point. The closing retained earning of the last year which was overstated, you can check here, okay? The closing retained earning of the last period, which was overstated. So this closing retained earning will be the beginning value of this year retained earning, okay? This will become the beginning value. So this beginning value is overstated plus net income and the net income from the current period, you can see here, it is understated. So net income is understated with the same value Okay, so that's why your retained earning over the two periods will be unaffected. So this is really important point. So let's do the question uh, uh, to understand what we have learned here. So here you have a question number uh, one. They're telling you if if an entity entities raw material inventory as of December thirty first of the current year. I mean, say ending inventory was miscounted and the true figure was higher than one. A thirty thousand dollar. Okay, two figure means say actual figure is more uh, than one hundred and thirty thousand. So here it means your closing inventory is understated because actual figure was more by hundred and thirty thousand. So it means you have written less. It means your closing inventory is understated by hundred and thirty thousand. So now the question is that on effect on the year and financial statement would be that what will be the effect in the current year and financial statement? Profit is overstated, as I told you. Whenever, if you remember here, whenever your closing inventory is understated, so it has direct relation with the profit. So your profit will also be understated. So that is the first option is not correct. Okay. The cost of goods sold is overstated. Yes, as I told you, closing inventory has that uh, inverse relation with the cost of goods sold. I mean, say if closing inventory is understated, your cost of goods sold will be overstated. So that is why this B option is correct. Working capital is overstated? No. Working capital will be understated because your current assets are understated. Okay, working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Then you have a cost of goods produced is understated. And uh, no, uh, because uh, cost of goods produced, cost of goods produced. Actually, let's have a look to understand this concept. Please focus with me. So this is usually how we calculate the cost of goods are the uh, total manufacturing cost we always take uh, cost of opening raw material 
plus we add here cost of net purchases i mean to say raw material less cost of closing raw material okay so this is how you got the cost of material use so let's assume if it is a raw material it means your closing inventory is understated so it means if your closing value is understated what will happen your cost of material used will be overstated like this value will be overstated okay so and then you add your conversion cost uh, conversion cost means say labor cost plus cost of overhead this is how you get the total manufacturing cost okay if your cost of material used is overstated of course so this total manufacturing cost will also be overstated so that is why they're telling your cost of goods produced is understated not understated it should be over stated i hope it is clear now let me see if you have another question so let's do another question they're telling you a company's inventory is overstated at 31st december of this year the result will be what like your inventory is overstated if your closing inventory is overstated what will happen understatement understated income this year no if your closing inventory is overstated your profit will also be overstated okay understated retained earning this year no because if your income is more your retained earning uh, will also be overstated this year but over the particular year over the particular two periods there will not be uh, it will not affect the retained earning understated retained earnings next year as i told you retained earning will be correctly stated next year because if in the first year your inventory is overstated your profit will also be overstated your retained earning will also be overstated in the, the closing retained earning will become the beginning for next okay and the beginning will also be overstated and if in the next year your income will be understated okay uh, then what will happen uh, because this closing inventory will become opening and this is just i have explained above right so the understatement retained earning next year no because over the two years retained earning will be unaffected okay so then what will happen understatement uh, understated income next year so this is correct the reason is that because the closing inventory which is overstated will, will be will become the opening inventory of next period and next period your cost of goods sold will be overstated and your income will be understated that is why option d is correct because to understand this uh, question just you need to or, or uh, just you need to go back to understand what we have learned over the two periods okay i hope everything is clear if you have any question, you can ask me through the comment section. See you guys in the next video. And if you really like the video, please don't forget subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.